Other interesting business news, you have Starbucks stock jumping thanks to the Q3 results and the cliched pumpkin spice latte sales. Yes, they did in fact help quite a bit. Now it looks like the same store sales were up 8% in the US and North America and the customer traffic was up 3%. They also noted that the higher average check checks drove in the bump in sales, likely thanks to their copies of the latest chain, August rollout of the popular fall menu, including the pumpkin spice latte, which year, this year cost Americans $5.95 before tax for a 16 ounce grand day latte, whatever you call it, size. $5.95? And of course, nowadays you're going to have to do some type of tip. And perhaps it's just because I'm frugal and I like to invest every penny I can back into the business and the and the team. But $5.95 for a dang coffee. Well, let's be honest, it's basically a chocolate bar or a candy bar in a cup. But if it's $5.95, and unfortunately we do have sales tax in Texas, so that's 1.0825, or rather the sales tax is 8.25%. So if you want to find the actual sales tax of the product, you can multiply the product price by 1.0825. We have not provided more value than some public schools in the United States, which is not actually not a joke. That's that's an issue. All-time low test scores in every category, but the teachers' unions still want more money. Yeah, I don't think so. But nevertheless, that means that the price to you, once you actually drive through, is $6.44 for a candy bar and a cup, plus you got to pay a tip on that. Or That's a debate in and of itself. Well, let's say the average American is going to tip between 15 and 25%. Go in the middle, let's say, again, just ballparking here. Let's say, what if you did a 20% tip on that? So you have to take that new number times 1.2. And again, I forget I forget if you do or do not actually tip on the tax. That's a, another debate in and of itself. So that brings up the price point to $7.73 for a candy bar in a cup. Again, we have 40-year hyperinflation. I understand money isn't what it used to be, but we also have economic uncertainty and the mo one of the most ridiculous things I read in the article as well. So again, it's set about at the end of the day, it's about seven dollars and seventy-three cents for that cup of. I should use maybe a little disclaimer, co a little coffee, quote unquote. It's candy, but nevertheless, they actually say the analysts say that Starbucks pricey drinks may appeal to a increasingly cost-conscious to cost customers who want affordable luxuries. Now, the only, and again, this is an article thanks to Reuters. Now, the only truth part of that is that it is a luxury. There is no reason an American, or anyone for that matter, needs a eight, damn near $8 cup of gelatinous, I can't even spell the chemicals that they put in them most of the time, a candy bar in a cup. So again, with all the debts that American ha Americans have, recently I've just believe the first time in history, passed a trillion dollars in credit card debt in the United States for consumer credit card debt. That's on top of the student loan issue. The top of, there's a lot of debt being racked up in the United States. Whether it'll be paid off is another topic for another time, perhaps. But again, this essentially anything it helped their shares jump up by 9.5%. That's astonishing. Let me know in the comments. Would you pay about eight dollars for a glorified candy bar in a cup, or do you think, eh? A lot of economic uncertainty. Maybe I don't buy this latest indulgence or this luxury. Maybe I just, for, what was it? What was it $9.95? You got a bag of beans from the whole big box mart, grind it up, and you got coffee for, eh, conceivably a week or two, depending on how much you drink. But the price point per cup is much, much less, and you get a much more, I would argue, healthier because it's just coffee, not ingredients you can't pronounce. But let me know in the comments. Do you think the Starbucks will continue to grow exponentially? Or do you think, People are starting to wake up to the fact that, dear God, that's a, a pretty penny for candy in a cup. Eh, it'll be interesting to see, but as I always say, time shall tell. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment is a great way to let me know what I could be doing better or just sharing, sharing your appreciation with how I'm currently doing things. But I'm always looking to improve the show, so crit critique is always appreciated. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.